Here we go again. You ready? Yeah, I'm a lot more nervous for this one, but I'm ready. Let's go. She's really nervous today. I feel really sorry for her going in this morning. There is a lot of people here though this morning looking scared. A lot. I am so happy. My scene order just arrived and I just tried everything on and I love it so much but it's made such a big mess in my room. This is like a massive pile full, filled with so many t-shirts and things and it's left my room in a bit of a mess. And look how nice. These three towels are. Look, this one's definitely my favourite because it's the most vibrant. This one kind of looks a bit colour washed, but, oh, but I still love it. And then this one is also one of my favourites because it looks so cute. And I am just so happy with everything that I've got. I'm so grateful that I got to get all of these sheen clothes because I'm just, they all fit so nice, so happy. And I'm not going to do like a full haul because we did one of those yesterday um, and Mummy did one. So I feel like you guys might get a bit bored. So instead I'm just going to show my top five or three or something favourite outfits. Um, I don't know how I'm ever going to decide which ones are my favourite because I love them all. I also got a few swimming costumes I'm currently wearing now. But yeah. I cannot believe all of this that I've got. Like, I'm so happy. I also wanted to show um, two new things that I crocheted last night. Um, and that is an adorable little, um, I can't think of the word now, turtle. And it's like a little candy turtle because it's got its little face and its little eyes. And then it's got a little, well, quite big, <laughs> rainbow kind of, kind of colour shell. And I think it looks so cute. It's like a little sweetie turtle. And I also made a cute whale which is Jace's favourite he was he's literally been holding it all morning and I had a little mouth onto it but it looks so cute I absolutely love it I wasn't sure how I was gonna do the tail when I first thought of the idea but then I just kind of did that and I think it looks absolutely adorable but yeah I'm so happy with everything that I've got and I'm very grateful that I got to get all of this okay this so this is outfit number one and I love it so much it's like these really cute uh, kind of frilly kind of shorts They are from New Look. Um, I got this really cute top with some flowers on it, kind of crushed over on the back. And then I also got it in green, so you can kind of imagine what it would look like. But I also got it in green, and I think it's so cute, so summery, and I love it. I can't even tell you guys how much I like this t-shirt. Best kind of thing, I love it so much. Um, I love it, I just love it, I just love it. Honestly, I don't know what my fashion would be without Sheen. It's my favorite online shop in the entire world. In fact, no, it's my favorite shop in the entire world. And you can just buy Preppiest, nicest tops in the entire world. Never mind. Okay, guys, this is the last one that I'm going to show, and then I'm just going to include the TikTok video that I did. This is it. I absolutely love this one so much. It's definitely one of my favorites. I love how it comes at, like down here. It's got this like lacy bit here. I absolutely love it. And that is it. I think that Mummy added a few extra things into one of her sheen things because one of her sheen orders because she found these really cute like skirt skirt things that would be. so so cute for some time um, and I think she might have ordered me them but that is everything and I'm so like I've said a million times I'm so grateful for everything that I got today and I just I love everything that I've got and I'm so happy um, and I'm so grateful that mum let me get all this I'm just I'm so happy but to be honest daddy wasn't very happy um, um, with all these sheen bags arriving to the door um, because you know sheen sometimes is a little bit expensive so um, so yeah I'm very grateful that I had to Got, that I got to get all of this um, and for the rest of my day I'm probably just going to be playing outside because it's very nice and sunny outside it's really quite warm in my room and I'll probably crochet a bit because I'm actually addicted to crocheting teddies so somebody came back this morning from her another exam feeling good but I'll let her tell you about that more so I was worried about this one today and when I saw her coming out with a smile on her face I was really relieved so feeling really good about that I know she's feeling really good about that, but I'll let her update you guys later about how she feels about all that properly. I've just got back from a little morning skate, and uh, Sarah's just gone to playgroup with Jason Miller. They're gonna be back in an hour. And in the meantime, I need to crack on with getting our garden in shape. Again, it's growing so rapid. I forgot last year, well, last year it was when we first moved in, so it was kind of really bald anyway. There wasn't much grass. I remember the weeds growing very fast around the edges. But it's a good job we bought that mower because we were paying 60 pounds a time for somebody to come and do the garden. And um, so that mower is 
already proving to be a good investment. We've used it four times since having it now to cut the grass and it's just literally growing every week. It's like getting too long. So I need to get out again and bust it today. You okay, sweetheart? Yeah, Isla's just been sorting out a lot of her clothes from her wardrobe. Yeah. Cause that's what she loves to do every day pretty much. Yes, we've got some, we've got some adventures coming up very soon and the girls have all got new summer wardrobes ready for that. So they've been sorting all them out and getting everything ready. Whilst Alice having a lunch right now, I'm gonna go get the mower out and start cracking on. And the best bit about this whole thing is that this is no longer a chore for me. This is fun. I know you guys are turning off, you're like, I'm watching you mow full. But it's, it's like exciting for me now to get the mower out. It's what life's become. <laughs> As you get older and whatnot, life, you know, the simple things just start to really matter, you know? Quick change of trousers. Gardens all looking gorgeous. And now I'm about to head to the shops with Sarah, because she's just back from playgroup. And there's some little bits that Isabel needs for an exam she's got tomorrow that she broke yesterday. So we need to get some replacements. Oh my goodness. I kid you not, guys. It's currently half past four in the afternoon. And this is the first chance I've had today to pick up the camera and say hello. <laughs> and that's not a lie either. It's just been rush, 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 rush since I woke up this morning. Let me pop that down. There we go. Um, and I have actually just had to pull into a little car park place just to film this. So there you go. So obviously today Isabel had her exam for that. I got everyone ready for the day. I got myself showered, dressed. Jace had playgroup this morning, but unfortunately we missed it just because Chris had the car with Isabel with the GCSEs and he had to go and pick her up before basically there's no time to get to playgroup Jace's so I took Jace to Mila's playgroup which is in the afternoon and the one of Mila's is one where you like pay to go so like in advance I mean like you pay for like a course type thing so I had to speak to his te her like the lady that runs it and make sure she was okay with me bringing Jace which she was she said he can come again next week so that's really nice he's got another one to go to as well um we went to that I met a, a couple of my friends there asked if I fancied going for lunch afterwards so we went and had a bit of lunch and then got home dropped Tyler off at, oh no we had to go to B&M because Isabel needed a couple of bits and bats and then I needed to get straight to dance so I took her to dance uh, then about halfway there I realized that she is having her show photographs taken today for her show that's coming up so and she wants she, she wanted a hair or she needed a hair in French plaits so I then had to stop put her in French plaits make sure she got there on time and I just dropped her off and now I need to get home and then I've probably got like an hour I need to go back and pick her up from dance somehow I need to fit in having tea and um, dinner in all of that and also maybe maybe I could get myself a cup of tea probably not but you never know it's just been one of those days probably everything I've just said is a big ramble makes sense to no one but yeah tomorrow I've got some neighborhood friends coming so people who live near me they're coming around for lunch tomorrow and for a little play date so I want to make sure like the playrooms all nice and ready for that and then um, yeah happy happy days it's a really nice hot sunny day again today which i'm very grateful for it's getting me in the mood for summer for sure and just yeah gosh what is wrong with my brain today what is wrong with my brain we're gonna have a barbecue tonight because chris cut the grass today and it looks very app appetizing that's not the right word is it inviting it's fine. It's for Sarah, appetizing is when you want to eat something inviting that's where it looks it looks inviting out there so we're gonna no one can even hear what you're saying probably He's saying they might want to eat the grass. And we do have barbecue bits yeah. in. Yeah, first barbecue of 2022. That was so cringe, wasn't it? Yeah. Some, I don't know what I'm talking about today. Always makes me feel so stressed when I know I haven't vlogged anything. Some of yeah. feel like when I know nothing's been vlogged. No, it's, it's <laughs> makes me home. feel really stressed. It's, 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 it's just at home. It's home so hard. It's so, so hard to film some days. It's so, honestly, I know lots of people say it's okay. We guys like home days. Just and I like home days when I've got something to film. Home days, but, are, <laughs> home days are okay. I like home days when I can film something. But on days like today where I'm just I've just been so busy. It's like tea time now. Like, and then we usually stop filming at around tea time because and then I'm like, well, we can't stop filming at tea time today because we haven't filmed anything. <laughs> it makes it so hard. So it's such a beautiful evening this evening look at that blue sky that we are cranking out <laughs> the portable barbecues <laughs> and we're having the first barbecue of 2022 why not right comment down below if you're having the same thing today because i'm pretty sure most of the uk right now because i know the weather's gonna be rubbish for the rest of the week pretty much go get it Prin. ho ho <laughs> go get you love your ball go get it <laughs> she's so fast this is like the perfect space to be able to throw a ball for Brittany because she just takes forever to go and get it and come back. What do you want, Brittany? Watch out! Mila, what a beautiful 
Good day. She's got all of these toys here, but all she wants is to get that tag under there. <laughs> all she wants is the tag. <laughs> Mila, look. Look at all these toys. Uh, I'm trying desperately not to look at me. Uh, there's the biggest but spider about so to crawl onto Chris. <gasps> Whoa, watch your car. Yeah, that's what I meant. Perfect. Mama, yeah? You need to play and catch. <gasps> you play catch? Watch, watch, Mama. This is the Wait, where's the spider go? This is oh. really good to catch, Mama. Come on. Guess what? Isla got Dancer of the Week at Dance Today and she has been so excited. It's my first time to get it because like we didn't only really started it like quite not a long time ago. Like I haven't had that many lessons there. And I'm so happy because I've got Star of the Week and I'm so happy. Where's Mila? Boom! <laughs> Are you playing hide and seek? Where's Mila? Where's me? Where's Mila? Uh, boo! <laughs> Where's Mila? <laughs> Where's Mila? Boo! <laughs> oh, is it so soft on your head? Uh, boo! <laughs> so last night, I'm not gonna lie. I actually started crying <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. But you know when it's like, it wasn't actually in the middle of the night. It was this morning at like 7 a.m. So you know those nights where you're just, you're really tired, you've not slept. And she, Mila just went through one of those things last night where she just, <coughs> gradually over the last week, it's just got worse and worse and worse her sleeping. And last night she was literally, she wanted to breastfeed all night. Every single time, I'd lay there for an hour and a half. The second I unlatch her, or she unlatches herself, and I try and move away, wide awake. It was awful, and it literally went on the whole night. It got to like 7 a.m., and I was like, what can I do? Honestly, if we had formula in our house, I would have given her it last night. And that probably wouldn't have even worked, but I was desperate. If we'd have had formula in our house, she would have had it last night. Anyway, I thought it was the heat, because it's really hot in our house. Our house is really well insulated, and it just stays hot, even if you have the windows open. But about an hour and a half ago, she was laying on the sofa, and she started crying, because I was putting her cast back on after changing her. And she was crying, because she sometimes she cries when you have to put it back on. Every single, every single, four of her top teeth are through. Four. Two front ones, uh, all four front ones. And I cannot believe it. The poor little baby. No wonder she wanted to feed so much last night. No wonder last night you weren't happy. You've got all them big tushies. Are you telling me all about it? Are you tired? Mila, you got your tushies coming through? What? <laughs> if you like, she literally only just got her bottom two and now all four top ones are through. There's a little boy at Playgroup, he's, he is literally so adorable. He's like seven and a half months old. He's got like, I think she said today he's got 10 teeth. He's got 10 teeth. He's got all four top, all four bottom. So when he smiles, it just looks like he's got a full set of teeth. And he's crawling. So he's so advanced. He's like crawling around everywhere. And it's just, it's just the cutest little thing. And I was saying today, oh, Mila's like almost 10 months and she's only got, she's only just got a bottom two. And now you've got six. You've got six of those gnashes coming through. Burger, babe. <laughs> I've got the burger sauce right here, isn't it? Delicious. Maybe where's the light? Where's the light? Where's the light? There we go. Light? Mila, light? you're tucking into a sausage. It's so good. Jason, what you got? Where's the light? Yeah, I just meant the light. The ignore yes. me, darling. Ignore me. So yeah. I've got a little kebab thing in my bobby do. Very nice. Jason's got a. Mama, I can't. I can't see myself. I can't see oh, myself. What have you got? This. What is it though? Hamburger. Huh? Hamburger. Hamburger. <laughs> so I guess I'll go clean the kitchen then, babe. <laughs> that was a proper fan. Not even a thank you. It's a fan. Oh, 
all showered and ready for bed after the last few nights. I'm definitely, definitely ready for bed. Just wanted to quickly show you guys a few little bits that I got on Amazon for Jason Miele when we go on holiday and when we start traveling again this year because I thought they were super cute. So they're swim things. So I got Jace this absolutely adorable little, what, what's it called, a wetsuit? And I think it's so cute. Check that out. I can't, I can't wait to see him in this. It's so cute. So I got him that one and this one. Jace, which one do you like best? Which one do you like? The poo -poo one. Oh, the poo poo one. And then I got Mila these two, which, oh my goodness, they're so adorable. So she already had this one in age three months. I think it was not for three months. Or I can't remember. I think it was. And this one is age. It's a size large, which is six to 12 months. Oh, it's so adorable. I absolutely love it. It does look quite big. So hopefully it fits and then I also got her this in this design but it's kind of like not that it's kind of got that print down the sides here and then it's this beautiful blue here and then it's got a little duck or something here but unfortunately by the time I'd checked out on Amazon the seller emailed to say unfortunately that one had gone out of stock in the size I needed so did he issued a refund they did say it's coming back in stock on I think they said like June 12th 12th or 13th something like that so I'll probably just reorder it then because we're not I don't think we're going to, going to be going away before then but I did also get the vest which is what I just showed you here because I thought this would be really nice to go over the top of normal swimming costumes I've never actually tried these before what size did I get this one in this one is a medium and a medium's six to 18 months but this honestly looks so big maybe it doesn't look so big when it's up against her but it, it it looked absolutely massive to me when i opened it what do you think mila do you like, get it off me what do you think do you like this hopefully it still fits and if not then i'm sure she'll grow into it and then in the wee hours of the morning when i was thinking what am i going to do with mila why won't she sleep oh my goodness <laughs> Bought some new dummies. Not that she'll actually take them. I don't know how many dummies we've tried now. But she's just not interested in dummies at all. And I don't think she will ever be interested in them. This is my last attempt. If she doesn't take them, if she doesn't in be interested with them after these ones, I'm not buying no more. She'll just be a non-dummy baby. Anyway, that's all for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed watching all these um, swimwear things I bought on Amazon, just in case anyone's interested, wanting to get them for summer. I always find, like, we're not going anywhere like Arctic or really ice cold or anything like that, but I always find that little ones get really cold when they're in pools, like, after such a short amount of time. So I thought these ones would be really good. And usually I'd just go for, obviously, shop-bought UV suits to protect them from the sun. But... Yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea to get some of these. That's why I've got them. But, hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Sorry for my waffling today. I've done way more waffling than what I usually do when that's saying something. But we hope you all come back tomorrow. And we'll see you there, 5pm. Good night, guys.